We are disturbed by utterances that are made by the president day in, day out, in public gatherings that imply that uh, he is above the law. We are also disturbed when we see utterances made by another arm of government, that is parliament, stating that it will be no court orders and undertake public participation despite the court stopping the process of implementation of the housing bill for 2020. Those actions by Parliament we want to work if they are undertaken would be an illegal venture. And we are going to initiate proceedings to surcharge anyone in Parliament who will authorize the public participation forums to proceed when there is a court order stopping that process. Because that is illegal, they are not using their money, they are using taxpayers' money. And taxpayers' money cannot be used to propagate illegal activity. Second, the executive, the parliament, have no privilege to choose which orders to comply with and which ones not to comply with. They are institutions that have been set up by our constitution. And the constitution demands that they must obey court orders. And so we are here united as a body of law, the old, the middle age, and the young, to say that the law society will not cow, the law society will not be intimidated, and when it comes to protection of the constitution, protection of the rule of law, we are prepared to go to any length to protect the constitution. We are aware that the president has issued threats and has said that Mambo de Matata. We want to assure him that for all those options, we are prepared to take those options in defense of our country. And so today, we meet here in public and we are going to affirm our oath. We took an oath to defend the Constitution of Kenya. We took an oath to defend the independence of the judiciary. We took an oath to defend the administration of justice. And we are going to retake those oaths in public so that we can send an equivocal message to the executive.